was skating since 2002, uh, so we should be like about 10 years from me now. I would say I'm the last survivor <laughs> of all the generations from 99 back in when I first started skating in 95. Um, I started out in school because like there were two guys in school who were really really good um, and they really wanted to do it you know. The first time I saw guys skating they looked like they were like floating like kind of like on the ground and like it's in a flying action right so I really really wanted to do it. Um, it took me about uh, about a couple of weeks to really get into the skating in itself and in terms of like not falling down or anything. It was a point in time where I stopped skating. I uh, not stopped but I was I wanted to stop. Everyone like all my friends and stuff, you know, they just drop off the scene, they went on to different sports, but I was the only person to really hold on to blading. In probably 2004, the end of 2003, they actually started to do the stunting part of it, which is when they met Bobby and some of the other guys. At the time that I was about to start, Jared and Roland, they knock on my door, like, no, I don't want to do And I came out, and I was like, and it was like, you skating, you skating? I was like, skating? Like, no. And I was like, come on, man, you gotta get back out, you gotta get back out. So, by that time, Jared knocked on my door, I was like, back out again. And I almost quit, almost, but Jared and Roland, they brought me back. And from then till now, it never really stopped. Skating right now for me is just like a, another part of life. I can, I can probably skate better than I walk. I remember one time I broke my ankle. But I could skate, so you know, I kind of put the boot round on my ankles and I still was able to, to maneuver around to skate. So. I stay motivated with the sport because it's, it's my hobby, my favorite hobby to do. It gives me that drive all the time to keep doing, to keep going. Having a, a group of guys in Barbados skating on a regular basis was one of the, the main motivations um, aspects for me. Um, apart from that, um, watching the things like the ESPN and the, the um, X Games and that kind of stuff, when I wanted to do the stuff that guys overseas were doing, um, that was kind of motivating for me also. Then you set me up as you eradicate Every ounce of love I get to you You made it clear it wasn't good enough for you I don't know what to say, no other made me say Please show me a way to forge a new day One where my reality is finally Better than my dreams Trying to get back or anything, anything, everything you stole Cause you breathe it out My favorite trick, um, I, I wouldn't say per se that I didn't have a favorite trick. So I do grinds and jumps, grinds and top of ramps. There are a couple of things I, I, I have like signature moves for. Um, for instance, there's a grind called a soul grind. I could do it on my ice shot. Favorite grinds would have to be like royals, um, soul grinds, unities. For fit humans. And then um, there are things like acid drops or um, it's like where you, you jump 
a, a, a great distance from one thing to the next thing, probably like from a ledge to a rail or something like that. So that's one of my, one of my things. The first trick that I learned in skating was something called a Royal. Funny enough, it took me almost six years to perfect the trick. <laughs> but um, it's kind of like putting two feet like this and gliding like on a rail straight. Um, it's what we call like a, it's like a, a normal startup grind um, on skates. Apart from that, it was just like simple jumping, like doing 180s and 360s, jumping over blocks and cans and that kind of stuff. And um, jumping is one of my strengths too, so it came natural after a while. Yeah, back in 99, there was a competition in the street. Through the sandblast, where you hide, elevators standing, skateboarders. Bicycles and um, they had sponsorship and everything, so they they built the ramps and we got to skate and compete. And it was a free. The competition was public, so people could come and watch for free. They didn't have to pay or anything. So, well, the competition it was it was three Sundays, and for each Sunday, I was first in the first one, first and second one, and. And first in third one, which means I won, so I came first overall. Back in 99, I got my gear, I got two friends that would go away to the US and they would go on vacation, I would give them money to bring back. Or if anyone had a credit card, I would give them the money and they would buy it, order in. And that, was, that would be the only way because down here at the time in 99, we would sell skates or credit gear or anything. So. Usually, um, we get our skates from importing them from overseas, uh, bring them in from the web. Um, sometimes we bought like second-hand skates and that kind of stuff like from eBay and so on. Um, but you know, even though these, these skates were a little bit pricey, we always try to be as professional as possible because the skating community is very small. So we wanted to stand out. Well, the gear, you know, after years of pounding on your wrists and your hands, you know, you can't take any more pressure. So you had to get some gloves with these padding. Uh, for sure, you need your shin guards. From again years of pounding on your shins. You know you want to continue to do sport as long as possible. You want to keep yourself good. Also, the crash pad. This thing is, is like a half inch of like foam. You can't see it because you know, it's inside of here. 
we always try to make sure we have the protective protective gear, correct boots, correct skates, um, correct wheels and that kind of stuff. So it really meant the majority of the stuff that we have, we kind of brought in from overseas. skating to anyone trying to like burn calories because skating is burn so much calories. Skating is a, another alternative in terms of sports, in terms of aggressive sports or action sports. I would like to see like younger guys coming out, girls too you know, um, skating and, and really taking interest in the sport in itself. I would tell parents to try to get, you know, get the kids involved in any kind of sport like action sports or Anything, you know, roll, roll blade is you know, fit. It's a good way to clear your mind, to get out on the outside, to socialize with people instead of on the computer inside, you know. In the beginning, it could be a little difficult or a little bit rough. Um, as long as you wear the correct protective gear and so on, you have good guys around um, to train you and that kind of stuff. But I would just like to see um, Barbados in itself be a little bit more open to aggressive or to action sports. And also, uh, back then we used, to, we used to skate street, street skating. And that was like, you know, you jump off steps on people's property. And we used to get run by the police, get chased. So that, that was another problem too. So this is why we have these things though, and these pipes and these rails. So we make our own stuff, so we don't go on people's property. Plus there's no skate parks here. So we just train, we watch videos and learn from, from the videos and try to better ourselves and enjoy the sport.